Alright everyone, we're back with the um, full game rework, Nightmare Mode, Immersion, and what's the last part? I forgot the last part. Oh, Honest Man, yeah, the most important man, uh, part, Honest Man. We have extremely high cooldowns and limited grenades on, uh, I think they're called stim kits or stim packs or whatever the hell they're called. Long story short, we just almost died and we just completed the mission and now we're going to continue. Here we go. We had our first real combat last mission and uh, we almost died. It was really, really bad. That would have been the end of the run, which would have sucked. Do that on purpose. Luckily, we hey, planned ahead. We a ate a bunch of food buffs and we survived probably just because of that. I just have to leave the area. Like, literally, that's all I'm doing. Okay. Um, oh. V of the silver tongue, eh? Glad we got it all worked out. Contract closed. Cool. Okay, you know what? That food really worked out for us, so we're I'm just gonna ready. buy some more. Your daddy? I think it was this pizza. Do we have anything we can sell? Wow, the pizza is more expensive than the gun. That's a little silly. Okay, I'm gonna sell this Tonto. I'm gonna sell this. I'll keep that actually. I'm gonna put that on the uh, this one here. Okay. Oh, I wanted to buy some food as well. This one's only a hundred. Okay, let's just buy um, eight of these. Oh, we can only buy four. Okay. Oh, she only has four. Got it. Yeah, that food saved our life in that last fight. So um, we're not going to neglect food. What's going on here? This is to go up. Lizzie Bar Okay, what time is it in day? So it says go to Lizzie's Bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Okay, how am I able to tell what time it is? Um, I don't see the time anywhere. Do you guys see the time anywhere? Go to Lizzie's Bar at this particular time. Okay. Track. There we go. Okay. Sorry, guys. Getting uh, acquainted to the interface. Not super familiar with it, but we'll get there. How far are we? 300 meters? Let's call it the car, right? That's not my car. <laughs> That's not my car. This is my car. Don't run me over, car. Because we're playing immersion mode, we do not leave third person car mode. Unless we have a really important reason to. Okay, I think I missed. Oh, oh, something's going on right here. So let's pull over here. Free experience, right? Maybe. Okay, they're below me, I think, so um, maybe I won't mess around with this. Free experience, etc., etc. I really wanted to steal that guy's car. Oh, can I just go down right there? Not gonna worry about it. I can go out of my way. We're not going to fast travel very often. It's going to be something we use very sparsely. Immersion mode, you park. You park. 
Nice. That guy's like... Oh, it's 6.16 p.m. Okay, Lizzie's bar just opened. Yeah, these guys got much cooler cars than me, let's be honest. Six of 20? I need 20 to break into it? Interesting. Have mercy on me? Did you guys hear that as well? It's Keanu. We found Keanu. Alright, I'm hearing things. Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get in through the front. Ha, huh, get a load of this one. <laughs> right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find him in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, doll. How lame Welcome is that? Welcome to Lizzie's. You see someone you like? Ma, go play a video What game. a sweet little face you have. Um, okay. My bee's enjoying it. It's a weird, like, onesie thing going on. Like a Velcro carpet onesie thing. Slavage McAllister in the news again. Pompous asshole or eccentric genius? Acclaimed rocker boy Slavov McAllister has ruffled feathers yet again following his most recent performance at nightclub Totentans. While a rock concert brawl is no big news in itself, several unofficial sources allege it was McAllister who instigated the violent outbreak after hauling, hurling a tear gas canister at paparazzi in the crowd. Jeez. Before the booze-fueled melee got heated, the Cartesian duelist premiered new songs Cybernetic Soul, Mind is Freedom, and Cogito Ergo Sum, which as usual will have critics divided. Okay. Cool. And there's... No affiliation. Interesting. Huh. Mateo over here. He's a thug. Hey. Get you something. So Curious. The name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh. Oh okay. no, I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. The girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot all in all. Nah, yeah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. The tall one makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Oh. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. Oh. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Oh. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Mox has had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. The sign snake, out of respect. That's cool. Ms. Booms to this day. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. 
Thanks, Mateo. Piece of crap. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. That's on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why meet here? Why we meet in here? I mean, it seems like a pretty good place to meet, honestly. Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. I like this music. It's very nice. So... What can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? A little vanilla and sprinkles? Oh, Maybe electrosex, zappies, power implants. Here. You and your girlfriend wearing high heels, blind folks, and big games. No problem. You buying or renting? Renting. How much? Relax. It'll go on your tab. Think I got it. Just nothing's wrong. Hmm. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. She's got pasties on. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Let's talk biz. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't come here to get my ego stroked. No, you're here to gain some knowledge. The life-changing kind. Well, now you got me all excited. Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic, secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Sapuro Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like you are Nobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? 
Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. 